Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. What I'm doing today is I'm just going out for the maiden voyage ride with the trailer. I um, wasn't going to video it, but I thought I would. I've just ridden down to NSA to have a little bit of a try. Sorry, my visor's up and it's raining so I can't really see because this pinlock keeps flopping up. So I'm um, just ridden down to NSA and I thought I'll turn the camera on on the way back just in case to give you a bit of a, uh, a uh, my thoughts on it. So it's, un it's a little bit unusual towing the trailer behind. Hang on a second, I'm going to have to lift my visor up because my pinlock is blocking up. I'm going to have to revisit that seriously. So it's a little bit unusual. Um, power wise you don't notice it in the bike, but having it behind you, you notice it with the um, wind catching it. So it's a little bit of an unusual sensation. I'm running two cameras just to get the perspective. I uh, ran the rear camera that's filming the trailer on at Omeo on the way down, so I might insert some of those pictures so you just can see. But overall it's towing quite right. I'm riding a bit like a Nana. As I said, it's my first time with this trailer. And the roads are a little bit greasy. It's been raining for the last four days. It's cleared up slightly now and it's supposed to rain for the next four days. So I thought while it's clear, I'll get out and I'll have a bit of a ride. Um, handling wise, it handles great. Um, as you said, apart from you get the crosswind, which is an unusual sensation. Um, which you wouldn't normally experience on the bike, not like this anyway. So that's a little bit unusual because it's um, tagging at the back end, not at the front. But it's good. I'm, um, I'm still riding at about 80 kilometres an hour. I was passed a few times by vehicles coming down, so obviously I was riding a bit slow for them. But I'm riding my own ride. These videos I make are for entertainment purposes. They're not for educational things, so unless you're really super comfortable with your riding abilities, um, I wouldn't connect a trailer to your bike. I've been riding for 42 plus years, so I'm comfortable with my abilities. But, only my personal opinion. I choose to ride with a trailer. Um, so, as you can hear that Harley burble as we climb the hill. The trailer weighs about 120 kilos so it's not particularly heavy. It's like having another person on the back. I may have to readjust my suspension because I usually have it set for just one rider. When my daughter does ride with me, she rides, she weighs next to nothing anyway. So, and that's becoming few and far between now. She's turned 18. It's just not cool to ride with dad anymore. Not in our town anyway. I'm hoping this video works out, or this audio works out, I should say. Because a couple of videos back I had shocking audio. And unfortunately I'm having to ride with the visor partially up. So I may be getting excess wind noise and stuff this time too, so I don't know. It's about 7 degrees and it's not particularly good weather. When I rode down, um, another part of the reason I didn't have the camera on is because it was raining. I'm not sure if the windshield was going to deflect rain away from the camera or it's just going to be washed out. So, um, But it's, now it's not raining on the way back. so part of the reason I decided to do it. I'm supposed to be having an overnight camping trip with the staff from my school as a part of our uh, learning experience to teach the kids. We're supposed to be doing that this Thursday, so the day this video comes out. Um, and uh, where we're camping, I didn't really want to sleep on the ground. As I said, I'm too old, too old to throw a tent on the ground, so I'm hoping to take this camper trailer out so I thought I'd better go out and have a ride and tow it round 
now I'm all street legal and registered in Victoria because the trail is so small and it's towed behind a wider vehicle you don't need to register it I don't have a tow bar on my car only on the bike um, so I have to have it registered behind the bike and when I travel interstate you have, it, have to have it registered anyway so it's not bad and it only costs a hundred dollars for a year so it's not that bad with the the number plate and the inspection and all the things to go with it so so I had that done this week so now I can actually tow the bike I tow, tow the trailer behind the bike I don't know if you can see in that rear camera I've got two or three cars following me so I'm sure they're not happy I ride my ride so if they don't like it they can just wait I'm not out here to prove anything to anybody safety comes first over anyone else's as we continue to climb This summer, last summer we had bushfires the whole time and I believe we're going to have rain this whole time for this summer so it'll be interesting just to see how that all turns out. Omeo to Swift Creek's just over 20 kilometres so this is like a 40 kilometre ride for me, it's not huge but it was a nice little testing one for this trailer. Also got to remember I can't cut corners and things now, not that I cut corners a whole lot but uh, because of the width of the trailer. The trailer's only 1.2 metres wide, but it's wider than the bike. Well, parts of it, I suppose, because with my uh, highway pegs down, I think I'm about 800 or 900 wide anyway, so... But I'm not trailing behind myself, so I just have to use it. In Victoria, it was a long weekend this weekend for the grand final and to show our support for all the doctors and nurses that have worked I think that's how they've justified the uh, long weekend normally it's the grand final long weekend so we have Friday off but because Queensland has the football grand final I'm a Geelong supporter and unfortunately Richmond will beat them but that's okay nice to have the long weekend and be able to get out on a little ride to chat with you guys it's going to rain for the next four days so while there was a break in the rain I thought I'd better get out and do this so depending on how well this video worked out I may or may not 
unwrap the Honda and add a little bit of filming to that just to give you a glimpse of the nightmare I'm about to enter into otherwise if you like this sort of content give us a like and a subscribe and hit the notification bell so you receive my content I post weekly and on Thursdays it comes out and you've been watching Michael and this is my cycle so if I don't get to speak to you again bye for now